Hello friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and we are going to do another herb segment. Today's herb is one that I absolutely love, 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 love. Not that I don't like all of them, but this one is so amazing. They all are. <laughs> I probably say that with each one, but this is one that we've been using um, for many, many, many years. For many things, it is just one that we have on hand all the time. Some you'll use occasionally, then there's some like nettles. Well, I told you what it was. Nettles <laughs> that we use all the time. Today's herb is stinging nettles, or as we call it, nettles. I leave off the stinging because when I say that, a lot of people get so scared and it just scares them off but I don't want you to be scared off because this little herb here has so many health benefits. It's one that you would want to have in your home or your medicine cabinet or whatever all the time because it is so amazingly good for you. And see the color? So high in chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is so good for you. It's a blood purifier. Um, anything that has the real strong green color to it is a blood purifier because it's high in chlorophyll. Anything with lots of chlorophyll cleans the blood and is just really, really good for you. But anyway, we make so much of it that I keep it in these great big jars because we drink it all the time. Because it is so good for you. It's something that you can drink as a regular tea, like alfalfa or peppermint. Um, this is one of those that you just want to have um, on hand for many health benefits. So there's so much um, information that I have to write it down because I know that I'll forget it and I don't want to forget it. I want to give you all the information I can. Um, a dear friend of mine gave me this book not too long ago, sent it to me. It's called Medicinal Herbs and this is one for beginners. Um, I have many, many herbal books, but this is an easy one um, for beginners and it's by Rosemary Gladstar. So you can probably find this on um, um, Amazon. Um, and it's just a simple book with some good information for those that are just starting herbs. Um, so it doesn't kind of overwhelm you because herbs can overwhelm you because there are so very many. But um, this book is amazing. I think beginners will really, really enjoy this. And it's just a good guide to look back on. It's got nice pictures and it's simplified, which is what you need when you are starting out. You don't need something that's going to be so deep that you're not going to understand it. But anyway, this is an amazing herbal book and um, I thoroughly enjoy it. But anyway, um, I just wanted to go over some of the benefits and give you some recipes. I'm gonna tell you where you can get it because I just am so passionate about this one that I feel that you all need to have this. But anyway, um, we are going to be making what we call plant medicine. We are using plants and we're using it as a medicine, um, a preventative, you know, that's why we do herbs. It's a preventative um, to just keep us healthy, free from a lot of these things that are going around. But anyway, it's good for the cardiovascular. It's, it benefits high blood pressure and hypertension and um, cardiac disease. So very, very, very good for the heart. So if you're having any kind of heart issues, um, not that I'm saying don't take your, med your, uh, your blood pressure or high blood pressure medicine or anything like that, I'm not a doctor, I don't claim to be. I'm just sharing with you what I have learned and some of the things that work for us. So by no means am I telling you this is what you need to do because that's something you always have to decide yourself and with your doctor sometimes. If you have heart issues um, and you are on medication, this might not work for you. So, um, but if you want things as a preventative, this is something that you might want to think of. Anyway, it's very good for prostate health. Super important nowadays. If you can just be drinking this, Jean just drinks it all the time. Just use it as a preventative. You know, that way there's no issues. You don't have to backtrack. Um, and urinary issues. So if you have UTIs and all that kind of stuff, start drinking this because this can really help with those problems. Um, hay fever, if you have any kind of hay fever, drink this during the summer. Add some honey to it. Keep it iced in the fridge. It is yummy. Um, 
For some, it might be something you have to get used to because when you drink it plain the way I do, there's not a whole lot of flavor to it. So you can add honey, you can make it taste good. Um, it's good for joint pain, osteoarthritis, inflammation, all kinds of inflammatory conditions. It's just good for that. Um, bleeding, uh, nose bleeding, uh, any kind of bleeding, it will stop bleeding. So it's one of those blood stoppers, which is so good to have. And it is also good for burns and wounds. Crazy, just crazy. And that's not any of it. That's the tip of the iceberg. Okay, um, it is good for uh, insulin resistance, diabetes. I'm just gonna kind of go through these. I don't wanna overwhelm you. I'm just gonna kind of tell you what the, you know, this little thing here to show it to you. Look at that beautiful green color. It's kind of brownish green, but oh my word. Green, green, green is what it is. Lean, green machine. <laughs> um, promotes hair growth, guys. It is an immune booster. It's boosting the immune system. We all need to be boosting our immune system. It treats, treats anemia. If you have any kind of, um, you know, if you're low in iron, high chlorophyll, it's just so good for you. It supports adrenal health, guys, our adrenals. How many of us have adrenal fatigue? It is so good for that. Um, for gout, it promotes lactation for pregnant women, or pregnant women, m new mothers. It is so good for that. I remember when I had my kiddos, I was always drinking like a mother's milk that had this in it to get that rich milk going so that there was never an issue. Um, treats kidney disorders. Um, again, I'm just telling you what I know um, and from what I've read and what's worked for us. Again, I'm not telling you to do this. This is something you have to always make sure that you do your own research. I just wanna share with you what I know. It's good for asthma, um, decreases menstrual flow. If you have really, really heavy menstruals, um, that can be an iron issue, which this would work. Um, it stimulates um, contractions in pregnancy. So if you are getting ready to have this little baby um, and you want to get things going, you might drink that. Um, treats insect bites, insect bites, relieves um, tendonitis. Like I said, it promotes skin and hair health, which all of us are so passionate about. We want to have a nice head of hair and some nice nails. Um, treats ac uh, acne, eczema, and supports thyroid health. It is just one of those things that you're just like, the Lord just knew. He knew what some of these herbs would <laughs> benefit and we just need to use them. Um, so ways that you can use this. You don't only have to make a tea. We do a tea. It's one teaspoon of the dried herb to a cup of water and then you let it come to a boil and then you steep it for 10 minutes and you can drink it. And so then you would just strain it, you know, over your, your cup like so, strain the tea leaves out of it and then drink it. Because, you know, you don't have to take in the tea leaves, but I have some recipes that you're just gonna be amazed because you can and it's yummy. So anyway, you can do a tea, a tincture, an infusion, you can do capsules, you can juice it and you can eat it as a vegetable. Can you believe that? And then nettles is also used for a fabric. Can you believe that? I mean, it's like good for everything. Um, they say that it is finer than cotton and linen. So I haven't seen too many fabrics made of nettles. I've heard about it. I don't have any. It would probably be pretty expensive. <laughs> um, but there's this little statement that says, when in doubt, use nettles. <laughs> is that great? When in doubt, use nettles. It's so it's incredib incredibly beneficial. Um, so it's nettles in a nutshell. There you go. So the parts that are usually used are like the leaves. You can also use the root and the seeds. The seeds are actually great. It's a great tonic for um, stamina and energy. So if you are into athletics or whatever and you want to up all of that, you can drink the seeds as, or grind them up and take them in internally or capsulize them or drink them as a tea. Um, if you have creaky bones and achy joints, 
nettles tea is the one for you because it is so high in calcium. So that again is just, it blows my mind every time I think about it. Um, but here's some recipes that um, you can use nettles for. It's funny, a friend of mine brought me a bag of nettles and it was from Anthony's Organics and we'll have that down below. And when I opened the bag, the nettles was so aromatic, it smelled so good you wanted to eat it. Um, so you can make um, creamy nettles potato soup. You can, um, these are just some of the things that you can use it for. A pregnancy tonic tea. These are just some recipes um, and you can find all of these probably on Pinterest. And stinging nettles crisps. You can make the little chips just like you would kale chips. Ex same exact way. They're delicious. And then um, stinging nettle scones. So you can cook with this. You know, it's just like anything else. It's like a vegetable, I guess you could say, you know. Um, the leaves, of course, you're not gonna eat the flower or the stinging stuff, any of that, because um, you don't want that. I mean, yeah, stay away from that because the sting can hurt quite a bit. Um, and then nettle, Nettles Vegetable Chicken Soup, which I have made myself, and it's delicious. And then Potato Leek Nettle Soup. So some of these um, I have not tried, but I'm going to. So anyway, Star West Botanicals and Anthony's Organics, I will have both of those in the description box below for you. Um, I just want so much for you to, um, you know, know what these things are good for, because it is just simply amazing. There is so much to nettles, and um, I hope that, you know, this is something that might work for you. Like I said, I just wanted to share different herbs that we absolutely love and see if it's something that might work for you. And just drinking, you know, a little cup a day is so beneficial. It's just like drinking any other. I'm, we are big tea drinkers. I think I am more than um, Jean, but um, this is one that he drinks all the time as well and loves it. So anyway, I hope that you will try nettles let me know give me comments i got so many good comments about this whole herb segment that i was so excited um, to share with you again um, but let me know you know if this is something that you have done before how it's worked for you or if you start using it um, how it's worked for you because i love feedback and i love comments but um, again it's a very very cheap a bag like this at natural grocers and it's completely organic is like a dollar a dollar nine or something but it's getting hard to find we have been back and forth to natural grocers because I just like to keep the little bags on hand we'll buy them all when we're there they have not had it in months so I'm hoping yeah with that said to order it online and just keep it in the freezer because I would hate to ever run out of it you could grow it <laughs> but it to harvest it yourself would probably be kind of hard but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this segment on Nettles Tea, and I hope you'll give it a try. If you have not subscribed, we ask that you please do so. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And ring that bell, and you'll be notified when we have another video. Until next time, guys, God bless you.